you think that your life is hard and you're giving up on that because you think your life is unfair, think again. I was 18 years old when I got married. I belonged to a very conservative family, a Baloch family where good daughters never say no to their parents. My father wanted me to get married. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. Just about after two years of getting married, about nine years ago, I met a car accident. Somehow my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car and I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Radius ulna of my right arm were fractured. The wrist was fractured. Shoulder bone and collarbone were fractured. My whole rib cage got fractured. And because of the rib cage injury, lungs and liver were badly injured. But that injury that changed me and my life completely as a person and my perception towards living my life was the spine injury. Three vertebrae of my backbone were completely crushed and I got paralyzed for the rest of my life. Many people came to rescue. They gave me CPR. They dragged me out of the car. And while they were dragging me out, I got the complete transaction of my spinal cord. Those two and a half months in the hospital were dreadful. I was at the verge of despair. One day doctor came to me and he said, well, I heard that you wanted to be an artist, but you ended up being a housewife. I have a bad news for you. You won't be able to paint again. Next day doctor came to me and said, your spine injury is so bad. You won't be able to walk again. I took a deep breath. I said it's all right next day doctor came to me and said because of your spine injury and the fixation that you have in your back you won't be able to give birth to a child again that day I was devastated I still remember I asked my mother why me and that is where I started to question my existence. That why am I even alive? And that is where I realized that the words have the power to heal the soul. My mother said to me, this too shall pass. God has a greater plan for you. I don't know what it is, but he surely has. That day I decided that I'm going to fight my fears. So I wrote down one by one all those fears and I decided that I'm going to overcome these fears one at a time. You know what was my biggest fear? Divorce. I couldn't stand this word. I was trying to cling on to this person who didn't want me anymore but I said no. I have to make it work. But the day I decided that this is nothing but my fear I liberated myself by setting him free and I made myself emotionally so strong that the day I got the news that he is getting married I sent him a text that I'm so happy for you and I wish you all the best and he knows that I pray for him today number two was I won't be able to be a mother again and that was quite devastating for me but then I realized there are so many children in the world, all they want is acceptance. So there is no point of crying, just go and adopt one. And that's what I did. Two years later, I got this call from a very small city in Pakistan. I got a call and they said, are you Muniba Mazari? There is a baby boy and would you like to adopt? And when I say yes, I could literally feel the labor pain. I said, yes, yes, I am going to adopt him. I am coming to take him home. So when you accept yourself the way you are, the world recognizes you. It all starts from within. We have this amazing fantasy about life. This is how things should work. This is my plan. It should go as per my plan. If that doesn't happen, we give up. 
I never wanted to be on the wheelchair. Never thought of being on the wheelchair. This life is a test and a trial and tests are trials are never supposed to be easy. So when you are expecting ease from life and life gives you lemons, then you make the lemonade and then do not blame life for that because you were expecting ease from a trial. Trials make you a stronger, better person. Life is a trial. Every time you realize that it is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. Everything is okay, but giving up should not be an option. They always say that failure is not an option. Failure should be an option because when you fail, you get up and then you fail and then you get up and that keeps you going. There are so many people in the world who are dreaming to live a life that you are living right now. You have no idea. Embrace each and every breath that you are taking. Celebrate your life. Live it. Don't die before your death. Live your life fully. Accept yourself the way you are. Be kind to yourself. Real happiness lies in gratitude. So be grateful, be alive and live every moment.